I'm Charles Strider, I'm 23. I originally come from uh, the Malvern Hills area, but I've been living uh, in Bridge End for the past two years. My name is Dan uh, and I'm 38 years old. I'm from Swansea and up until recently I was a lead manager in Tesco and it's always been a lifelong dream of mine to get into the film industry. Um, so I took the leap to pack in my old very well paid job um, to tackle this um, apprenticeship course with Skill Cymru and I couldn't be happier that I've taken the leap and I've done it. Right, my name is Matthew, I'm from Oxford uh, and I'm now currently living in Cardiff. I'm Stephen O'Donnell and I'm from originally from Manchester uh, but I've been living in Wales now since 2007, so 15 years I've lived here. My name is Teresa, I'm 21 years old and I'm from Czech Republic, but I currently live in Wales since September 2020. Uh, for the past four years since leaving college, I've had various experience on set from independent to high end, but it was very odd jobs and it was very infrequent. Uh, I was lucky enough to attend a job fair in Wales where they told me about this brilliant opportunity and looking into it, I just saw what was being offered in terms of uh, consistent placements and training that you're not necessarily going to get on set by just jumping into a job that I just thought it was so valuable I couldn't resist or pass up on applying. I applied for the um, Skill Cymru uh, apprenticeship course to follow up on a lifelong dream of mine to get into the film industry. I studied um, media and film back in 2004 uh, and was never able to break into the uh, into the industry so uh, now at the old age of 38 when I thought it was kind of beyond me uh, it turns out it's not uh, and this course um, is going to be a, a great a great learning experience for me and I can't wait to start it. So the reason I applied to be an apprentice of Skill Cymru is because uh, my university uh, degree although I have finished it and I did graduate um, the last two years of it were quite um, affected by Covid um, and I think this apprenticeship gives everyone who's applied and everyone who's got a position an amazing opportunity to really get hands on set work so working in the industry getting an education whilst you're doing it you know um, it's all just positive there's no real negatives to, to applying and taking the position. I originally started acting uh, way back in the late 80s, early 90s. I'd left school, I'd had a, I'd got my O-levels, a couple of A-levels, and then I went to drama school. And uh, I've been acting on and off and a little bit of teaching for all that time. But as I got uh, into my 50s, things started uh, drying up a bit and whether that was because of my age or because of the nature of the business uh, plus the pandemic I found myself sort of standing still so uh, luckily I discovered Skill Company and having no great formal education degree wise I could have moved into uh, certain positions I was looking at sort of uh, uh, you know um, unskilled jobs and that didn't appeal to me. I wanted something that would give me progression and advancement and training. Uh, and the industry I knew, albeit from the other side of the camera, was media, TV, film. So Skill Cymru and the apprenticeships they offered really appealed to me. I've done a bit of acting back in Czech Republic and I directed two of my short films, which I've done for university. I also did some script writing and I worked as a sub runner on film sets and I applied because I want to gain as much experience as I, w as I can in industry and pursue my career on my own. In five years time I definitely hope to be working within the art department. Uh, I'm still looking to explore but it'd be great to be continuing working in Wales and continue developing these talents and 
working in high-end uh, period pieces and uh, even modern dramas, just getting to work on as much of the uh, practical and props and the look of everything is really fascinating to me. What I would hope to get out of it uh, and the lifelong dream has always been to get into um, either directing or producing. So that's the long term uh, goal. But for um, the immediate future, um, I just want to get into the industry and see uh, and meet and as many people as I can uh, and see what different roles there are out there that potentially I've never heard of that might actually take my fancy more. Um, and just to learn the skills, just to, to you know, learn the skills, hone them um, and, you know, become that um, that guy that people want on their production because they, they, they know that you're going to be a safe pair of hands, that you are going to, you know, um, they don't need to worry about that role. It's going to be done. The very end result in my career generally is um, directing. Um, hopefully I want to get a contract of Netflix. That's like the ultimate goal, some sort of directing contract of Netflix. Um, but the goal with this apprenticeship is just to, it's just a way of getting my foot in the door, you know, trying to get my name out there, trying to get people to remember me and trying to get people to think, oh, do you know who would be really good for this role? that Matt guy, you know, um, and having these opportunities to work on set is, is the perfect opportunity to do the networking I need to do and to get my name out there and to get to people to start remembering me. As an actor, you, you know, on, on my experience with, with doing things like Da Vinci's Demons, which was filmed here, you, you go in for the odd day, you're sort of part of it and you're not part of it. Uh, and I think I'd like to be there for the whole term, the whole experience something new, learning something new, uh, not having to say goodbye after a day. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited by the prospect. I'm bringing all the things I know, bringing my uh, understanding and knowledge and experience, my story, you know, uh, I think will, will be um, valuable. Uh, so yeah. I think it's uh, I think it's a good I think it's a great thing. I've always wanted to be a director, but I know there's a really a lot of work to do to become a director. So first and foremost, I would like to gain as much experience as I can in the next 12 months. I would like to gain as much context as I can. And lastly, I would like to secure myself a good job in the industry. I'm really excited for this opportunity and I can't wait to start working on film sets.